Mr. Krishna Bodhanabu, CEO and MD of Scient, is joining us here. So you've been awarded um, uh, this chipset that you're going to be manufacturing, one of a kind as well. Uh, how does this board well? Of course, it will board well for Scient as well. Uh, when does the production kick in, and uh, what other use cases can we look at as far as different verticals in uh, in India as far as manufacturing is concerned and the ECMS scheme is concerned? Uh, just give us a perspective on this. So today. Uh we uh, launched, uh, uh, the minister launched a chip that is being uh, designed by Science Semiconductor, but it is being, um, the IP of that chip resides with Azimuth.ai, which is a unique company where uh, they're building a portfolio of power related uh, chips for the uh, Indian market. Uh, I believe that there will be a significant opportunity for indigenously, indigenously designed and developed intellectual property, uh, especially in areas like power, um, communications, etc. And Azimuth, which is our partner company and a company that uh, is uh, focused on power, uh, will be very, very well positioned uh, to uh, to create a portfolio of chips for the power sector. Scient will continue to support various uh, companies, both directly and through equity participation, uh, such as in Azimuth, where uh, we will help them build this portfolio uh, for intellectual property that is very relevant to the Indian market. Um, recently, you also lauded the UK-India trade agreement as well. Uh, what are the prospects that you're looking for, Scient, if uh, considering this agreement has been made? Uh, as far as the overall company is concerned, uh, what are the prospects that you're looking at uh, post this agreement? There's a number of areas where uh, Scient will benefit from the UK trade agreement. UK is a very important market for us, uh, both from a design and engineering perspective, but also from a product and manufacturing perspective. Um, there, are there are some specific areas which will open up very significantly, for example, defense, where uh, Scient, uh, through various capabilities that we have, both in design and manufacturing, we have a significant uh, opportunity to participate in the increased spend, for example, in defense, which is an area that the UK will increase their spend uh, dramatically. Uh, similarly, there are other areas uh, such as semiconductors where UK has a very strong presence and we believe that we will we are very well positioned to um, both design in the UK but also sell into the UK market and a few other areas which uh, we're looking into where we believe that the free trade agreement will significantly strengthen our positioning. Any deals you've done in the uh, or are in the pipeline so far? Um, I can't uh, comment on specific deals, but there's a lot of things that are happening right now. Just one final question on the ECMS scheme. What states are you going to target with uh, as far as this uh, manufacturing of, of this chipset is concerned? Um, so our focus has been on uh, the uh, pr primarily on uh, Karnataka, Telangana and Andhra and we'll continue to focus on their st those states because we already have capacity and capability there and we will focus on those states. And uh, what's the production timeline of this particular uh, uh, chipset? The, the chipset will be commercialized by the end of next year. Yeah. Okay. Th many, many thanks for joining us. If you like the video, do like, comment, share and subscribe.